What's happening, everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here today. I wanted to look at um, pretty much all my custom binds. I mean, you know, not in this video alone because it'll be way too long, but Matt inspired me a little bit going over his uh, his little custom bind collection. So I'm going to go through all of mine, uh, show you guys what I've got so far, talk a little bit about plans I've got for the future. Um, I am going to have to split this video into two parts just because, again, it's just going to get too long, man. Um, I could keep talking about everything, but, uh, you know, um, 30 minutes, a long time. But either way, um, the way I'm going to break this up is I'm going to talk about the big two books I've got first and then the, um, you know, other publishers that I've had custom binds made for, which is great. Just shows me I haven't done only big two books. Um, but looking at about 65 custom binds total. Um, oddly enough, I've actually got a couple borrowed out to some friends right now, so I couldn't get them in this video, but they will be um, featured at some point in the future when we do this again, probably next year or in two years. But um, before we get into it, be, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is what we do. We've taken definitely a larger focus on custom binds, the CBD, the custom bind demon. Um, comes out to play with Matt and I all the time. It's great. We love it. Let's just do what we want to do. Give us full creative control over it. It's fantastic. Um, check out our Patreon if you're interested in winning hardcover comics every month. The opportunity to win one, I should say. Um, we've given away Omnis, Absolutes, Deluxe Editions. It's been great. It's been so much fun. People have gotten some awesome books, sets of books, multiple Deluxes. It's great. Um, and check out our, our merch as well. We've got some shirts. Matt recently got a really, really nice um, fitted cap, fitted hat. I don't know why I said cap, fitted hat. Um, so check that out on our Instagram, which is uh, down there in the corner. Um, we also got mugs as well, if you're interested in that. Really nice stuff. I love, I mean, coffee just got so much better. Um, it's great. It's so great. It makes my black coffee look even darker, which I love. It's like staring into the abyss every morning and beating it and drinking it and getting out of it. It's awesome. It's fantastic. So um, without further ado, let's look at some of the uh, custom vines I've gotten over the past oh, maybe five years. Um, let's dive in. All right, we're going to work our, our way through this as alphabetically as we can. I may mess things up, but we're starting off with 52. This is the weekly series by uh, Jeff Johns, Mark Wade, Keith Giffen, Greg Ruck. I believe Grant Morrison is in there as well. Um, so uh, I, there was an official omnibus for this. I didn't pick it up. I just got the two trade paperbacks that collected the entire weekly series and had those bound. Um, you can see the dust jacket here was made by a Mr. Ben Williams, who uh, I don't think he does designs anymore. Um, now I just do my own designs. But um, here they are, the two volumes um, collecting the entire series. Great read. I love reading it in the custom bind. It reads very well, which is the complete opposite of, uh, of what you would hear with the, with the official release, but I'm very happy with them. They look like, um, you know, they look like I would imagine they would, um, based on the series. Great stuff. Um, next up we have got Aquaman. So this is the, the new 52 run following Jeff Johns's run. This is by Jeff Parker, Paul Pelletier. Um, you can see here, this was also designed by Ben. We went, we went with this sort of a different aesthetic here where um, we didn't have anything on the spine aside from artwork, but on the front, we've got that new 52 Aquaman. I think it looks great. Obviously, the spine is a bit tricky on the shelf, but, um, you know, it, it makes you wonder what it is. You pick it up, and then you find out. Next up, Batgirl by Brian Q. Miller. Um, just got the trade paperbacks, had them bound here. Really nice. This is actually a dust jacket I designed. I really like it. I think I did a good job. I'm going to stroke myself on the back there, but really like the purple aesthetic, um, you know, throughout the book, and I tried to use that as much as possible. I mean, there's some ridiculously cool covers and variant covers in this series um spine you know just another uh, another nice little piece there i like to keep my i like to keep my dust jackets as full of artwork as possible there's enough words in the book i'm not going to make you read words on the outside but that's just me next up we got the three volume nightfall set so before the omnis were ever announced or released um, there was those those, those thick, thick trade paperback collections. I just had those bound into hardcovers. You can see here the dust jackets have various heights, and this was really early in the uh, in the stages of of dust jacket creation between Ben and myself. He did make this um, connecting spine. Unfortunately, you know there are little things like the first volume doesn't have um, 
writer artist credits the second one's a bit taller i blame staples for that but either way i'm gonna have to redesign these at some point right now they're fine as they are on the front you know um got a little batman artwork kelly jones stuff little mike diodato jr great stuff honestly fun books really love this title I've, I've read this this event like three or four times it's so much fun um such a great time if you haven't read nightfall and you're worried it's an old book you might not enjoy it don't let yourself fall into that trap it's one of the best batman stories out there next up the four volume batman no man's land uh custom bind set i did design these one thing i would change is that sort of part one part two of at the bottom it looks a bit weird once you print it but i like the way it worked it's what it is i mean the first two volumes are the road to no man's land including cataclysm and then no man's land volume three and four um, aside from that pretty happy with how the connecting spine turned out on this bad boy on these bad boys i should say um so got some more uh got the fronts here um what i did for a lot of these particularly volume two and three is the front and back do wrap around actually sorry just volume three the front and back do wrap around um, with that sort of Gotham City with Batman up on the moon. Um, really nice stuff. Uh, again, I really like these. I thought I did a. I thought I did a good job. Again, just gonna stroke my back a little bit here, just focusing on the artwork, getting as much of it as I can on there. Next up, countdown. This was another weekly series. Countdown to Final Crisis is what it became. I actually just read this. It wasn't as bad as I had heard. It was um, based on other people's reviews. I didn't mind it. It wasn't terrible. But we'll move on real quick from that. Dark Knight's Metal, Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo. Um, I did a whole, you know, uh, when I got my custom binds, I did a whole bit on this thing. Check that out. Um, here we've got The Demon, um, of course, by Garth Ennis, John McCree. Fantastic, fantastic run. This was another dust jacket designed by Ben. Um, I recommend you, I think you can still get these trade paperbacks, although they are getting harder to find. I just got the newest trades that were released. I think it was two volumes total. I had those bound. Um, the Dreaming. This is the newest volume, I think it was 2018, when it started by Simon Spurrier, a slew of fantastic artists, including Bilquis Evely, Abigail Larson, um, and my boy, Matthias Bergar. I love his work. Fantastic book. This is the only book I've got in this sort of like baby blue color. So nice. It fits the dreaming perfectly. Next up, The Flash. This is the Mark Millar run that he did. I think it's sort of in unison with Grant Morrison. Pretty thin book. Um, nice red color. I got to get a dust jacket done for that. Next up, Flashpoint. This collects the main series with a, a bunch of tie-ins. I forget which one specifically, but a whole lot of them. This dust jacket, wraparound dust jacket, was created by Ben Williams. Um, looks great, and the spine looks fantastic, too, once you've got it on the shelf. Next up, JLA. This was a four-volume set. The dust jacket was also designed by Ben Williams. Um, fantastic connecting spine, in my opinion. Really, really well done um the fronts and the backs just got again some more artwork just showing off the beauty of you know artists like doug monke um howard porter can't go wrong can't go wrong fantastic artwork really nice set this collects the entire jla series from that ran from i think 98 to 2008 if i'm not mistaken maybe longer than that 2011 next up justice league generation loss this is a prime example of staples cutting a dust jacket too short which is why i don't recommend going to them but Justice League Generation Lost, fantastic, brightest day tie-in. Love this book so much. <clears throat> if you're a fan of Justice League International, you should check this one out. Justice League Dark. This was another dust jacket designed by Ben. Um, you can sort of see near the flap, it's uh, it's the, the front image didn't get far enough. Again, this is pretty early in our dust jacket creation phase. But the spine is badass. I love it. Fantastic series. Needs an official release soon. Midnighter also designed by ben williams he did most of the dust jackets i've got honestly i've designed a bunch myself but for other people i haven't really printed too many of my own out but i really like the way this one looks fantastic title midnighter by steve orlando can't recommend it enough if you're a fan of midnighter if you're a fan of solo badass characters check that one out next up the omega men i know there's an official uh omnibus for this thing a uh, deluxe rather but I had this bound. I had been collecting the single issues. I wanted to support the team. Tom King, Barnaby Baganda. Um, fantastic, fantastic series. Really love this book. Um, and there's the back with the spine for you to look at. Really nice. I mean, the spine, honestly, is not anything to write home about now as I look at it. But this was designed by Ben. I'm going to have to do another design for this as well because I love the title. Next up, Trinity, another weekly series, two books here. I talked about this in my recent sort of um, custom bind haul video. Not going to get into it too much. Really nice books there. Um, all of these are bound by Lehman Bookbinding. 
as I've said in, in, in the past, um, the Wildstorm and Wonder Woman, just threw these two together. Greg Rucka's, Greg Rucka's Wonder Woman run and the Wildstorm by Warren Ellis. Need to get dust jackets out for these. I've got them designed, just need to print them. Next up, Zatanna. Um, I believe this is the last book we're going to talk about on this video. I am going to, of course, talk about other non-big two books um, in the next video. But this Zatanna is fantastic. The Paul Dini run, a lot of artwork by Jesus Saiz. Great design. This was designed by by Ben Williams as well. I really must say he knocked it out of the park with this one. So one, one thing you may have noticed um, throughout a lot of these is that the dust jackets don't look great. It's because I used staples. They're not great. I don't recommend them. Go to Housh and get them to print it. Either way, really nice uh, Brian Boland artwork on the back here with the cool spine. I love the stars he added in. It's great. Love it. Um, these will actually be the final three books. These are the Moon Knight custom binds I've got. So this was pretty much uh, all collected in single issues. I was collecting Moon Knight at the time. Um, this includes Warren Ellis's run at the start, which was Warren Ellis, Brian Wood, and Colin Bond. They sort of did five issues of pop. And then after that, the next volume of Moon Knight, we had Jeff Lemire, Greg Smallwood, Jordi Belair. And then the third volume was a Max Bemis run, a lot of Jason Burroughs, um, a lot of Ty Templeton. But three Moon Knights. These are the only Marvel custom binds I have anymore. I had Thor, God of Thunder, and Captain America by Rick Remender, but I sold those. Um, I'm left with these Moon Knights. Need to make that dust jacket for the Moon Knight by um, Bemis. Will be happening soon. Looking at the Moon Knight dust jacket, this was actually designed by me. I'm, I'm, I'll brag a little bit about it. Um, really happy with how these turned out. I liked the aesthetic of this series already. It sort of had a, uh, it had a great um, cinematic feel to it. I kind of wanted to keep it simple on dust jackets. So you may have noticed these dust jackets are very beat up. Again, um, you'll see something very interesting with this Moon Knight one by um, Jeff Lemire here. It's got some sort of blue marking on it. That is literally from it rubbing up against dust jackets next to it. So it's a white dust jacket. The paper um, has no protection between really the, the ink and the outs. I mean, between the ink and, and, and the outer world i guess i should say i don't know the environment um and so it'll get this scuffing just by sitting next to a book um it'll you know be on my shelf touching up against another book and all of a sudden it's a it's a bit stained but it's what it is i need to get these printed at a better place um that can offer a higher quality product but either way nice simple design i did design this one as well real simple um on on the inside this was really cool i actually picked up this moon knight bind at Planet Comic Con, I believe two or three years ago, and Greg Smallwood was there, so he doodled on it and signed it as well. Because uh, hot tip, creators love it when they see a custom bind; they get very excited. Artists will usually get so excited that they'll doodle something in it. It's great. Um, and the last three books I wanted to talk about. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm forgetting what the last three books are as I record this. But um, the last three books are going to be Young Animal titles. These are um, published by DC, you know, under the Young Animal imprint. They don't really interact with the DC universe much, aside from the Milk Wars crossover. I know how it sounds. It's great. Um, the first book is Cave Carson. Second book is Mother Panic. Third is Shade the Changing Girl. All really well done. This was all sort of this Gerard Way idea called Young Animal that happened a couple years ago. Um, I'm still waiting to get my Doom Patrol by Gerard Way bound. I'll have that up next time. It's at the bindery right now. And I uh, really like these books, chose some, um, you know, very different covers, uh, colors for each bind. Very excited to make a dust jacket for these. I already have designed them, I just need to print them. Um, but we'll see what happens with that very, very soon. Really recommend checking out the Young Animal stuff. I think I've spoken about it a handful of times now. Really fun, very different kind of book. All right, so those are my DC and Marvel books. Um, not much Marvel, just Moon Knight, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, uh, what'd you guys think? Are there any books um, you would like to see that maybe you saw here that you'd like to see official releases for? What kind of custom binds do you have? Do you have any custom bind plans? If you have any questions about custom binds in general, um, check out our channel. We've done videos of, you know, preparing single issues, preparing trade paperbacks, um, processes for various companies. We've done overviews on, on most of the companies that do custom binding uh, here in uh, the US and Canada anyway. Um, so check those out if you want more in uh, information. We've done plenty of overviews in depth of each book that that that's going to be talked about in this part of the custom bind overview from Mike and part two. Um, so be sure to check those out if you want to get a closer look at anything.
Otherwise, hit us up in the comments down below. We're more than happy to answer questions for you. On the topic of dust jackets, we do design them as well, graphic covers as well. So hit us up via email. We can send you some samples of what we've done. Um, otherwise, we can just get right into it, start designing something. Just 10 bucks US, no big deal. Um, but thank you all very much for tuning in. Let us know down in the comments below if you have any other questions or concerns. I'll try to address them in part two. And um, hope you guys are all staying safe and sound. As always, until next time, this was Mike from the Hardcover Comic. You stay classy, Internet.